Welcome back to the Sizzle Chest Inn. All right, picking up where I left off last time, and it is in the subway after the thing crashed. Dun 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 dun. All right, I just took control over Jill. We just got out of the police station, um, so hopefully I don't die before I can save again. And again, like I said, I'm not trying to get the S rank right now. Carlos, I'll probably have to do that off Carlos? camera or something. I don't know. Oh, damn like when I can just sit there and concentrate on the game, not, you know, worry about what I got to say to, to y'all. I don't want to make it too boring for you, you know? I want you guys to be entertained. I want you to know that I care about you and your entertainment. See what I got here. Oh, it was flame rounds. It's like I said. I said that last video. I said it's probably going to be flame rounds. And if you don't remember, you don't believe me, go back and check out the other video because I said it. Um, I don't really think I'm going to need these, but I take them just in case. Um, the mine rounds because... When I'm about to fight Nemesis and he's going to run on the wall, and that's what I use to take him down. Otherwise, he's gonna mess me up. And I don't like getting messed up. I don't like dying in this game, in case you ain't noticed. Wait. And it is. Sorry, I got a Sonic the Hedgehog song stuck in my head. Well, it's uh, Sonic Forces, like the first level in Sonic Forces. I think it's the first level. Yeah, it is the first level. Yes, I do play that on the PlayStation. I play Sonic Mania as well, PlayStation. That's like video games, man. I get other videos. I don't know which ones, but I know I've said it before that the first game I ever played, pretty sure it was on when we, the Destiny playthrough, was uh, the first game I ever played was Star Wars on the Atari when I was uh, like four years old. Yeah. Yeah, but I got some Atari experience under my belt. And I know that doesn't really mean much to some folks because, I mean, I could have been four years old like 10 years ago because there are still functioning Ataris out there. You know, you can find them at like, uh, you know, secondhand stores, you know, used bookstores and stuff like that. So, yeah. Carlos, respond. Uh, I was four years old in 1988, so just letting you know my age a little bit there. Um, however, a lot of people do, I get it a lot. I'm not just saying like, because there are many people out there who do say, well, a lot of people when really it's only one or two people said it to them. Seriously, I, I see so many different people daily. And everybody's always calling me young and they say that I look like I'm 25. I'm not, I'm 36, all right, I'm almost 40, you know, I'll be 40 in four years, but I'm getting that I look like I'm in my mid twenties when I'm in my late thirties. So I see it as a compliment. I mean, it just means I got good genes, I guess. Um, I was eating like crap and I started taking better care of my health. And I suggest, um, you all do the same, because it's important, you know? Come on. Whoa. Let's do this. Stop it. Hey, that's not the gun I had. Get it, girl. She's like tired of his ass at this point in the game. 
She's like, I'm so sick of this guy. Carlos, you still there? Oh, come on. You're gonna crap out on me now? God damn it. Right. Go, Jill. So now he's transforming. He only has some of his garbage bag outfit on. Hey, good shot, Joe. Damn, I didn't even see that. <laughs> Ouch. He boned you. <laughs> That's got to be a bone needle thing. Oh, look, here goes this bitch. Interesting. You've done me a big favor, miss. What's that? You collecting data? He's a data collector. You rigging elections? Yeah, U.S. elections over here too, bro? Huh? Half a day later. Jeez, Joe. Joe. Hey, answer me. I wonder how he found her. Tyrell, do you copy? What's going on? Jill's been infected. I, I'm taking her to the hospital. Maybe Dr. Bard can save her. All right, I'll meet you there. Oh, dude's name is Tyrell. Okay, I know he's calling him T earlier, and I couldn't remember his name last video. You hang in this um, cup. But it was Tyrell. Okay. Just be glad I'm not playing a Metal Gear game, man, because... And I let the, the cutscenes play all the way out. Good grief. It'd just be me sitting here talking to you guys <laughs> while we're both watching a movie. And I don't think in this... Resident Evil 2, you go through the hospital. I can't remember. I know that you go through the police station, then you go through the orphanage. And I can't remember if you go through the hospital or not. I think from the orphanage, you go into the sewers, and from the sewers, or sewers and orphanage, I can't remember. I think it's sewers and orphanage. You're gonna be okay. Uh, I can't remember. It's been a while since I played that one too. Let me go ahead and save this to be on the safe side. Alright. Tyrell, where's Bard now? Gotta be the lab in the back. Stay frosty, I'm on my way. Copy. I'll go on ahead. Yeah, let's go on ahead. Oh, look. We don't. Let's get going. The hospital area is pretty, pretty easy though. Like it's pretty quick to get through here. Welcome to the office of All you gotta do is just grab this thing. Okay, now I've got some explaining to do for some of you youngsters out here of what a cassette player is. Um, if your parents are responsible enough and good parents, they would have explained that to you already. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and, and tell you in a, in a second, once I get grab the cassette. Um, and there are still some servers out here that still do record data on tape. Right, I don't know why it's a redundancy, I guess. It's just a system that they, you know, decided to keep around. Maybe they're doomsday preppers, and we're thinking that, you know, eventually uh, they were going to need it. But I, I really don't know. All right, so if you're looking for gun parts and whatnot, 
here's the tactical grip for the assault rifle. Um, that's if you're playing this game on this difficulty level without any of the infinite ammo or anything, all right? So, there's that for you. Oh, I forgot to show you where the freaking scope was at. Was that Peter Griffin? Oh, no. <laughs> it looked like Peter Griffin right there. Down that thumb? Big time. But anyway. All right, so I grabbed that key because we need that key to get in this next area. Um, and there's going to be a hunter. Hunters are no bueno. Because they can kill you one swipe. And we don't need that bullshit. I can hear one right now. Oh, I guess people were going to be getting it. I say people, but they're not people anymore. They're Zeds. Oh, and if you like zombies, you're into like zombie movies and stuff. Um, not just like Night of the Living Dead, which is a great movie. Um, but also like, I don't know, Dawn of the Dead. Anything zombie movies. Uh, if you haven't checked out Blood Quantum yet, it's actually really good. I was impressed. Because most zombie movies kind of suck. It's a lazy way. I don't want to say a lazy way, but it's a way for people like who are first starting out in film to get their feet wet. You know, because they want to show off the gore. They want to show off their chops, if you will. Like how they can make something look that something that's completely fake looks super real so uh, so most folks who like have their debut in the horror genre as far as directing goes I, I see them trying out like gory films like that so I'm not an expert not a guru anything like that just my own uh, personal opinion my own observation so yeah, you can take that however you want. I don't remember the safe code here, but this is the extended mag for the assault rifle. I think it's I think it's like 37 or something like that or 73. Yeah, see I don't remember. 30 I can't remember the code. But it's whatever I get. I mean, I don't really need it. Um, I just don't remember where the codes, where to find the code. I think there's a guy on this corner. Yeah. Assault rifle, bunch of stuff there. Right, I usually unlock this door just in case this dude trips. Because I'm not a good shot and sometimes I do miss. So, here we go. Audio cassette tape. Now you see this thing right here, right? You put this in a cassette player, obviously, just like a DVD, Blu-ray, uh, you know, any type of CD, a disc, you know, you put it in the player, like so, and you notice here there's, here, let me examine this thing real quick. There's buttons here, play, record, stop, uh, usually there's like a rewind or something somewhere. Um, yeah, there it is right there. The fast forward and rewind. There's a microphone right here. This is a, a tape recorder though. Yeah, a tape recorder and player because there's a mic and stuff on it. 
uh, obviously here's a speaker here these things did exist do exist um, I actually still have two fully functional Walkmans one is the actual Sony Walkman and the other one is just a off-brand Walkman so what you do is you know you plug the headphones in where it says ear and then you put obviously wear your headphones you can plug in your current earbuds and whatnot and it does work uh, there's no Bluetooth because Bluetooth wasn't invented back when these things first came out. On this one, the tape counter, that um, lets you know how many seconds went by. Okay, so obviously when it gets over to the, you know, when there's three digits, it's in the minutes at that point. So I know it's completely irrelevant to the game, but I mean, it's a little bit of a technology history lesson, if you will. So, I mean... I actually found the two that I own at a garage sale, and it was an older older couple that were selling them. Uh, they sold them uh, both to me for a dollar, so I got a steal on it. I mean, I'm not really a collector of those things. I was trying to... <sighs> it was a request for someone else because they wanted me to, to find one because they're like, hey man, I'll pay you whatever for, you know, uh, if you find them. So I went and I did it and uh, they backed out. They were like, well, no, I'm looking for a specific brand. It's like, well, if you would have told me that, you were just, you know, I wouldn't have picked up the ones that I did, so... Now I own two <laughs> Walkmans, you know, a Walkman and a tape player, so it is what it is. I don't mind, though, because I do have a couple of tapes um, laying around. Uh, I also own a few VHS movies. Um, one of them is actually Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, and... Uh, I own a couple, only two like actual game cartridges, Altered Beast and Moonwalker, uh, Michael Jackson Moonwalker, uh, for the Sega. He said raccoon. Pretty dope. I say raccoon when I'm goofing off. My employer, the Umbrella Corporation, engineered this virus. And they ordered my team to develop a vaccine, which we did. Now, I keep samples of this vaccine here in my office. The rest of it is stored underground. Mm. Thanks for the info. But those sons of bitches at the board, they want to destroy it. They don't want the world to know what they've done. So they're trying to erase all evidence that the virus ever existed. I wonder if that's predictive programming he's doing right there. I know they don't want me to... Because there's speculation that the coronavirus is going to disappear. Like, nobody's going to talk about it after the election. Because um, they were using the release of this virus to, as a political anyway. tool, you know? Fuck. Also, I don't know, like, like, if you're pro-vaccine or anti-vaccine, um, doesn't really matter to me, um, you know, what you are, if you're for it or against it. I honestly don't trust most of them. Good. I'm headed your way. Be careful. And the reason why I don't trust vaccines is because I have seen an actual video of George Bush Sr. Um, taking a tour of like the FDA's like facility and he straight up he's like the one dude was like um, he's like well I hope these pass uh, you know inspection or whatever you know 
get regulated. And I can't remember what it was, but George Bush was like, oh, don't worry about it, man. He's like, you're going to pass. And so it's like, even it, whether it was or wasn't fit for human consumption, whatever it was that they were talking about, um, you know, George Bush was like, yeah, dude, you're going to pass. Like, it's, you know, you're good to go. And I'm not okay with that. So that, I've seen that movie, like, or that, that tape, like, a long time ago. Like, I want to say maybe 12 years ago. Yeah, it was something, it was a long, long time ago. So uh, that's why, personally, me, I'm not, don't like vaccines. Um, I haven't had like a flu vaccine since I was 17 years old and when I do get the flu I actually fight it off faster than most people so I it could be a coincidence um, I have a, a friend who's never been vaccinated of anything uh, he's n never had the chicken pox he's rarely ever gets sick common cold included um, even if someone else has it, he's practically immune. And the crazy thing is, right? He's a black dude. What the hell happened? Crazy, right? Supposedly black people, according to some, are, you know, more susceptible to illness. Uh, it's really not the case. It's what you're putting into your body. I mean, that's only a day away. There's still people in the city. You think Uncle Sam gives a shit? Fuck. Here they come. All right. You sit tight. I got this. Actually, now I'm looking at it. Tyrell kind of looks like a cross between that dude I was talking about from John Wick and Hannibal Barres. Like, if you were to fuse the two together. I'm going to try to lower the window shutters. The less entry points, the better. And how do we do that? I'll try hacking into the hospital security system. Keep them off me in the meantime. Yeah, we're gonna try and keep them off of him. Like shooting fish in a barrel. That's not a good spot. I heard glass break. Oh shit! One well, got through. Oh, that was almost the end for me. Oh my gosh. Luckily, I had those defense coins, man, because my health is in, like, the yellow-green right now, according to my controller. And that is one thing I love about the PlayStation controller over the Xbox, is those LED lights that actually serve a purpose. They're just not there for... to look pretty. Or to let you know that the controller is on. <laughs> Actually, I am working on a video right now, though, for... Um an Xbox versus PlayStation thing. Um, I'm not sure when it's going to come out, but you know, when it does come out, obviously you'll know because it'll be out. Um, it's not going to take me too long to do, but it's just getting around to doing it. Um, what it is is it's mainly based off of the controller. Because like, there are so many people out there who complain, you know, they we're always comparing the two, like it's like it's really is a comparison, you know. So, I'm gonna put that out soon. Hopefully, you enjoy that. Oh 
bum 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 bum. The only thing I don't like about this part is I don't know the count, like how many of these things I'm actually supposed to kill. It just, I just keep going and going and going until eventually they stop coming. So even if I had a different weapon, like when I was using the, uh, I was playing the game normally with whatever weapons he had, I would stand right about here because you can see everything. So it made it easier. Yeah, I can still keep an eye on this window here. That window there, this one. Even though it's kind of a blind spot, you know? At least you can tell by limbs. Someone is there. So this, this to me is a good spot. I'm sure, you know, other folks, they, wherever their comfort zone is, some people will hide out in there. Oh shit, I've seen that. Like when you have the assault rifle and you hide out over in that uh, that room, it's pretty dope. I mean, you can, you know, when you get a, a mass of them, like a bunch of them like that coming in, then it's it's pretty easy to mow them down. Explodey way it is. I'm on it. So, I mean, that's probably what I'm gonna do right here. Is I'm just gonna hang out in this room. Because right now they're just coming right from here. So I just have to stand here for the next 20 seconds. Just do this. Hey, there we go. Using an unlimited ammo weapon does help greatly in this part of the game, but I mean, there's enough ammo laying around uh, usually. Not even close. So, I mean, you pick the ammo up here, uh, you pick some ammo up over I'm here, and then obviously there's another crate in the back room over there that has a bunch of grenades, like flashes and that seems a real deal. Uh, regular like frag grenades. Good. You going somewhere? You damn right. What do you think you're gonna do? Whole city's about to be microwaved. Come on, man. Call the government. Tell them we found a cure. You stall for time. But man, I ain't calling nobody. Bozy motherfucker. Tell them. Government ain't gonna listen to me, homie. And then Carla's gonna turn and be like, man, come on, dog. You know they for real ain't gonna fucking listen to me either. Come on, gang car. All right, now we're back with Jill. Jill. Ooh. Oh, thank God you're okay. I've got good news. It's over now. The city's safe. Oh. Uh oh. Um, I'll... Yep, I would do that. It's the only way. <sighs> Why would her subconscious do her like that? It's so messed up. Like, 
That's your subconscious like messing with you when when you're asleep and something like that happens. Like why would why would her mind do her like that? Attention all citizens. The missile strike on Raccoon City will occur in just hours. October 1st, 1998. I'm trying to think of what I was doing in 1998. That would have made me 14. I know what I was doing then. When I was 14 years old, I was just like the yeah, that summer before when I was 13 was when I was introduced to That was all Carlos. He this chick, her name is Marijuana. <laughs> Mary Jane. Yeah, uh, I was started smoking weed when I was 14, 13 years old, almost 14. Because my birthday is in the summertime, so I finished my eighth grade year, and then over that summertime, actually, I think it was like the last day of school, um, I was of eighth grade. I was like, all right, cool. Let me try this weed. I just figured, eh, whatever. My older sister was doing it at the time, so I was like, all right, fine, I could do it. I could do it. I'll give it a shot. I'll give the weed a shot. And then I was a closet smoker, even when all my friends were smoking weed. I was just like, nah, man, like I never wanted to get high with anybody other than myself. So. I'm just gonna go this way, just because I don't need anything that's over there. Um, if you want to go back that way, that's where the if, if you don't already have the uh, this bad boy right here. If you need that, uh, what you have to do is you have to go upstairs uh, where that hallway uh, is at. You cut a left and you crawl underneath the um, what do you call it? The barricade that's there because only Jill can squeeze through but here I'm gonna go to the second floor all right so when you first come up through the nurse's station um, here see, hang on no no it's the roof right here because when you go up those stairs you come through here you go through the roof here and when you first come out this door you just go straight and then you cut right in here um, and then you'll squeeze through underneath all that that barricade that's there and you'll jump through the window and then when you jump through the window in the courtyard you'll be like right here and then there's the case that has the what is this the lightning hawk the magnum so, there you go homies hook you up oh hell i probably should have used this instead you're forgetting I need need a few more. This must be the way underground. Yeah boy. Alright, so we're getting closer to the end of the game. Oh, which means that I'm probably gonna get stuck on the freaking the last like big wall of yuck that Nemesis becomes. Like for real, dude, on the, uh, was it Nightmare? Oh man, he took me like half an hour, but I still got an S rank on Nightmare, which is crazy. I, mean, I know I'm not gonna get it on this one because I already saved like nine times or something like that. And, and let's see, playtime, I'm already gonna be at the two hour mark and there's, I'm not even two minutes away from the, the game being done, so. It is what it is. I ain't worried about it. As long as I get it completed, I will try again later for that. Um, for that, uh, what the hell is it called? S rank. That's what it was. Sorry, old head brain. Hit pouch. Hit pouch. All right. Got them hit pouches though. So I'm pretty sure those hit pouches are gonna come in handy when I do the minimalist achievement hey gangster what are you doing up there why don't you come down here bro
must admit, I respect your tenacity. But I'm afraid our games end here. <sighs> you think this is over? You think this is a game? Alright. Okay. So I'm gonna try and get this rush through this as fast as I can to show you guys how I get the uh well I don't even want to do that. Never mind. Just because I'm using the rocket launcher and this. Normally what I would do if I was gonna rush through it to get the um these things within that five minute time limit or whatever. Um you know, I would use the shotgun. Because Oh my gosh, because I'm dogs and shit. I don't know if the dogs are still going to come out or not, but anywho. But that's how I go about doing it, bro. With that shoddy shop. How you doing? Ain't no dead end when you with me, Jill. We gonna get through this together. I've been through the worst of times. I've been through the best of times. Uh, I know that there is a part. Hang on, let me go ahead and just grab it. I don't remember what the hell it was. Something to do with right here. I think it's like to the shotgun or something. Yeah. The shell holder. It's for faster reload with the shotgun. And that's like the last upgrade for it. Oh, it's right there in case you need it. All right, I'm your homie. I did that for you. The reason why I pulled this bad boy back out is because I know that out of this crate right here, there's going to be dogs and one of them things. Yeah, you hear them? Got this. Yeah, so watch the dogs. There's going to be dogs and one of the, the hunter Y or whatever. I can't remember if there's anything else in here. Nope. Yeah, so there's four dogs and a hunter gamma or something like that. I can't remember what it was. I think that's what it's called. But on like the other difficulty levels, there's like a horde of zombies in here and then one or two of the hunter gammas in there. I think it's just one. That'll make your life a little bit easier there. And then there's... Uh, that one, that one, that one. All right. This shotgun shells, okay. don't think there's any documents in here, but I don't know. I'm the last one to let you know on that. All right, here goes. Run, Jill, run. Don't know what happens there if, uh, you know, he shows up somewhere else and then I'm kind of screwed. There's a typewriter over here.
So if I die right now, I'm gonna be really pissed. Because I'm gonna have a little bit of ways to go back. Okay, bam, 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 bam. All right, so here's the upgrade for the Lightning Hawk. Extended barrel. And if I'm not mistaken, that's the only upgrade for it. So it's like, now that thing's like beastly. Because it actually blows someone's face off. Not that you couldn't do it already, but... Now it's like a head popper. Do I have any more? A high grade? Nope. Only got one. That means I missed one somewhere. So I'm going to go ahead and save this now. So if I die here, I don't have to start way the hell over again. All right, close that. And here we go with Tyrell. Coming back in the house, Tyrell. Jill. All right. Tyrell. I got through. They're willing to negotiate. Oh. They'll call off the strike if, and this is one big ass if, we can deliver the vaccine to them before they launch. How long do we have? Hours, maybe. Then let's not waste one more second. This way. All right, you lead the way, homie. How the hell are you still running? Thought he was all busted up. We'll find the vaccine up ahead. All right, let's find it then. All right. Tyrell's a trooper, man. He's over there, like, infected. Sure he's trying to take point. I do what? I got your back. All right. Let's get this done. And then this bullshit happens to him. Tyrell! There you go. Jill, look what you're wearing on your back, girl. It's Jill's fault. It's Jill's fault that Tyrell died. She could have used a different weapon other than the damn pistol. So, Jill Valentine is trash just because she let Tyrell die like that. And even if she didn't have that uh, rocket launcher equipped to her. At least she would have had something else. The shotgun. The uh, grenade launcher. She could have used something other than her pistol at that point. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to hear no... I don't want to hear anybody trying to defend you. Well, you got her that... Nah. Yes, I did get her that. However... As the story progressed, she would have had something lesser than what I got her, so I don't want to hear it. Jill, you're trash. You let Tyrell die. That's my story. Anywho. Alright, now I'm not Jill bashing no more. <laughs> I do like these characters still a lot. Um, even though it was really messed up of her to let Tyrell die. Anyway. Oh, is there a typewriter around here though? Boom, trick. Oh shit. I don't think I need anything there. There is 
Oh, cool. High grade gunpowder. There is another document here if you want to pick that up. I think it's like a letter to somebody. Like a father's note to a daughter or something like that. So touching. Um, for in here, I think you just need to grab this. Override key successfully generated. Yeah. What is it here? Override key removed. All right, now you see how big that damn flash drive is? All right, so in 1998, they were big. All right, like I remember my first like personal flash drive was huge. And I didn't get mine until, I think I was 20. Yeah, and it was still pretty big. And then like a few years later, they came out and they were like way smaller, like about the size of what you're able to get now. And then now there's actually some that are like micro itty bitty. I'm like, how the heck? Oh. All right, I need to, to craft her eyes are out. I'm not trying to just craft like two bullets or rounds, whatever you want to call them. Override complete. All right, y'all, I'm afraid of my own shadow here. There's one down there sometime. There he is. I don't know if she gets up, but I'm going to make sure that she doesn't. This is the first piece of the vaccine that you need. There's like two parts. You got to mix, you know, the two parts. Just like in Everything chemistry. Um, I don't know what the hell that's gunpowder there. It's another document. I think that the documents and stuff, some of the documents are in different places too. I'm not 100% sure on that. Oh, another high grade gunpowder? Hell yeah. Explosive. Explosive A. That's explosive. It's an explosive. Ooh. There's another document right here, too. I want to say this is the last of them, but I'm not 100%, you know, because I don't know. Don't quote me on that. There's a lot of dead people around here. Like, jeez. All right, don't let this trick, nasty, nasty trick right here get you. Oh, he ain't even here. Never mind. Sometimes there's a dude laid up right there. So when you try to do this, he creep up on you and he grab you. All right, folks, I just checked the time on this one and I'm gonna call it because uh, it's kind of long. I will catch you on the next one. You guys have fun. Hopefully you guys are, are having fun with me. I um, mean, yeah, I know I do say some odd stuff, things you don't agree with, but I mean, there's no point in being offended about things, you know, because it could be worse. So anyways, uh, go ahead and like, subscribe, hit that notification button or bell or whatever you want to call it. Uh, you know, drop a comment. Let me know what you think. And just have fun, y'all. I uh, will see you on the next one. Later.